Hi, I'm Tuni from Mini Bowl Design, and today I want to announce the winner of the uh, Moodoo Item 1 that uh, people have been bidding on. I've got, oh, I don't know, a dozen bids on it. And the winner is, drum roll, Peter Dow. Uh, I don't have his address. He sent the bid without the address. So uh, when you pay me through PayPal, uh, just make sure your address is there so I know where to send it. So, uh, that takes care of that part of the process. Uh, I went out this morning, I had nine orders, and I built for those. And then this afternoon, uh, I spent the rest of the day building the jigs and every time thing and getting everything squared around to build the moodoo. People don't realize it, but when you go to build a new stove, uh, especially if it's fairly innovative, there's lots of stuff to, to build jigs to hold things and especially uh, some stoves are worse than others. Some stoves if you build them uh, when you get done the last process is really nothing to hang on to to finish it off. Uh, so that can be a problem. Sometimes you have to build a special jig to hold on to something fairly small uh, so you can finish it off. For an example uh, of something like that uh, these rings when they're made in the CNC, they're all finished off with the CNC except where you cut them off. And, and obviously you can't finish that once it's cut off. So uh, what John Bunker does is he parts them on one side and then he goes in and parts on the other side. So he gets his, in the way he grinds his tool, he gets just as thin a little piece of flash as possible and it drops onto his tool and it cuts off. Then he has a uh, a uh, flat table with a sheet of fine emery paper and he polishes that flash off on the piece of emery paper. So uh, any process like that after it's parted off the last little bit to clean everything up sometimes you have to build a jig to do it and that's what I had to on that one. And uh, also uh, drilling the holes for the legs. I don't think people realize about holes. It's an interesting thing. If you want to put an eighth inch uh, leg in you don't just drill an eighth inch hole. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's far more complicated than that. If you take an eighth inch drill, a good quality one, made for aluminum, and you drill an eighth inch hole, an eighth inch dowel, won't, uh, eighth inch rod won't fit into it. Uh, an eighth inch, an exact eight inch hole, eighth inch hole and an exact eighth inch uh, rod won't fit. The hole's got to be a little bit oversized. Uh, that's a machinist thing that I was taught. It's got to be a little bit oversized, you know, a couple tenths. So, once the hole is drilled, uh, then it has to be countersunk, and then they all have to be hand reamed with a two tenths over reamer. Yeah, it's not as easy as it looks. And ideally, what you're looking for is that when you put that rod in there, it has to displace the air, and once it's in there, there's actually a bit of a vacuum holding it in place. That's that's how you want it. They don't always come out that way, but there's usually enough friction to hold them in anyway. And these on the top, obviously, gravity holds them in, and on the bottom, once they're in there, the weight of the stove uh, loads them sideways so they can never come out anyway. I was thinking of, and could, but I'm not going to, because it's not needed, but it, uh, you could make the top leg right above the bottom leg and actually put a notch in the bottom leg and have the top come down, put the bottom in, have the top lock into the uh, bottom and the weight of the pot hold everything. But there's no need to get that, that crazy. It, it uh, works fine the way it is. The six holes I drill and ream. So anyway, uh, I've got uh, ten bases done. Not completely done, but mostly done. Uh, I've got to drill the top three holes in each one of those and then I can start with the tops and then I can build all the jigs to bend all the different legs for all the different pots. So I think I beat my gums enough here. I'm Tinny from Any Bull Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors and more important than anything, try to have a really great day. Bye-bye.